This video is brought to you by Sun King Discs. Check out sunkingdiscs.com for a full selection of disc golf merchandise and get free shipping on all orders over 12 bucks. What's up everybody? Welcome to my review of the Big Z Vulture by Discraft. Big thank you to Sun King Discs for sponsoring this review. Check out the link in the description below to check out the website. They got a huge selection. You can pick up a Vulture, any of the new uh, Ledgestone releases they have available right now as well. Anything over 12 bucks ships for free. So uh, definitely go check it out. Tell them I sent you if you head over there. Let's take a look at the Big Z Vulture. It's a beautiful disc. I really like the uh, Big Z plastic. It's got a good look to it. Nice and pearly, uh, bright colors, really nice feel as well. Cool stamp on this particular one. I, uh, I like the silver and black foil, and I like the artwork. Some of the Big Z artwork is a little iffy for me, to, uh, to be fair, but this one, definitely cool. I dig it. The Thrasher is also fantastic. Some of them are really great. Some of them I don't particularly care for. That's, that's a total aside. Big Z plastic and Discraft Vulture. So this is an uh, overstable fairway driver and has really good uh, glide and carry to it. We'll get to that in a little bit. Pretty flat across the top. Not much in the way of dome to it whatsoever. Um, this one's 172 grams. Pretty, uh, very, very comfortable rim profile to it. Nothing terribly remarkable or distinct about the uh, shape of this thing. Just got that solid fairway driver feel. Not a very wide rim at all. Definitely a comfortable feel in the hand. No sharpness, no hot spots, and I dig it. The Big Z plastic, this particular one, especially has a little bit of more flexibility to it than some of the other like Z blends that you might find out there, and I really like it. It has a really nice feel. It gives under the thumb a little bit. Tremendous grip, but still really durable. I, I really like the Big Z plastic. I think it's one of my favorite plastic blends on the market, especially for drivers. It's uh, really great stuff. The Big Z Thrasher is phenomenal, and I really like this Vulture. Let's put it up next to a couple other similar options. First, we have the Bonsai by DGA. It's a first flight Bonsai. I have not started testing this one yet, but look for the full review on this one when it comes out, um, once, I get, once I get the chance to uh, finish testing it. And, uh, yeah, 170, 172 grams, so pretty similar. I hear that these are quite similar in terms of flight characteristics, but it might be somewhat difficult to see on camera there, but there are definitely some differences to the design. Um, it seems like the Bonsai has a little bit thinner point there as it comes to it, and maybe slightly wider. It's really hard to say. You'll have to just kind of take a look and see what you can see. It might even be narrower. It's hard to say. Also, we have the Saint Pro. Lad 264 Saint Pro. There's a little look side by side on those two. So you can see the Vulture definitely a little bit wider rim. A touch faster than Saint Pro, I'd say. And uh, other than that, though, somewhat similar in terms of roll, um, based on what I know about the Saint Pro. Yeah, love the Big Z plastic. Good looking disc. Great feel in the hand. Let's talk about the flight of this thing. It is definitely overstable, but it's not so overstable that you can't get a straight flight out of it up to speed. And it has big glide and sneaky distance for an overstable fairway driver. That's the thing that really connects with me about this disc, is that even though it is stable, it's got a nice consistent finish at the end of the flight, it still glides nicely enough to get good distance and a really nice smooth flight out of it. I can throw it as hard as I want to. I'm not seeing much in the way of turnover from this disc. It really just stands up straight. I'll release it with a little hyzer, it'll kind of pop up just a touch, fly really, really straight all the way. I'll have a very dependable and consistent fade time after time at the end of the flight. Great smooth hyzer disc that holds hyzer all the way. Great soft flex disc as well. But ultimately, what I like it best for is just throwing it nice and flat, getting a straight flight with a consistent finish at the end of the flight. I think this thing could be basically used by anybody. If you had a bigger arm, I could see it flying very straight overall and still having a dependable little finish at the end of the flight, which is always nice um, to be able to dial that in. And also, I think this could be a really great overstable fairway driver for more of a beginner type player because you're going to get still get some distance out of it with that extra glide, but it'll give you that really nice, trustworthy, overstable flight path. You can throw into the wind, keep it on hyzer, gentle flex shots, all that stuff we talked about. It should still do that even for kind of somewhat inexperienced players as well. For me, my arm speed somewhere in the middle. I just really like to throw this thing hard and flat, let it stand up, and uh, 
just fly super straight down the line and hook up at the end of the flight. Could be a good forehand disc as well. Uh, I don't really throw forehands, but I could see it being a good option for that. And a really, really solid flyer overall. That's my review on the Big Z Vulture. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to Sun King Discs for sponsoring the review. I'll check you all very soon. Cheers.